Hello, in this video, I am going to discuss, you know, persistent data with SQLite. So what I've already done, I've got this code from the Flutter documentation and it just has a basically a table called the dogs in there. It's basically, you know, more like a Dart application than a Flutter application. What I want you to do once, you know, I've gone through, through this is integrate this with a Flutter based application. So that way you can learn you know, the Dart stuff, you can learn some stuff and integrate it together and you know, actually, you know, display something. So it's mostly it's all done, it's you know displayed in here. The reason I'm you know I'm doing this sort of approach for you know some of the videos is you know we're getting towards the end of the series and we should we're at the point where you should be able to you know get to grips with the code and adapt it yourself. But if at any stage you have questions you know just you know reach out and pop me a message so, okay so in the main we have essentially set the path to the database so the name dot db you could change this but obviously if you change it then you'll make sure you have to you have to make sure you, you always refer to that database okay then we have a little return so this is going to execute a certain command so this will feel familiar if you come from a web back end background so we just create a table and we will create it's called dogs it's got a two three different columns one called id which it only accepts integers it is the primary key one called name which accepts text which is basically anything and one is age and they just an integer okay so there's a you know a bunch of different methods that you can utilize for whatever you need to you can adapt them beyond this sort of example dog class then we insert dog which you know once you have the database then you just do db dot insert and that's it you literally just specify the actual you know pieces of information that you literally want to insert so you specify the table name and then you specify the actual you know data so dog to map and then you know if it's any confliction it will just replace it in this case and what else do we have so this is just generate the list which is printed out here update dog which is again very similar to the table name the data that you are using like, like the actual column they need to update and where you know what the you know what is comparing it to delete dog you, I'm sure you can figure out what that does. Okay, so by default, dog is this, and that gets inserted as you can see right here. Then, what happens is the age is slightly changed, and then dog is updated, prints it out as you can see it has been updated. And if you were to delete it based on this ID, you can see that it there is nothing in the dogs now. So if I was to just put something like that, for example, and we run that, as you can see, because that didn't actually exist, it tried to delete it, didn't delete it, therefore all we got was this. And you know, you can add you know more than one row as well if you wanted to. So we are going to add three rows now. Actually, that will not work because obviously the IDs are the same. If that's what I want you to do as an extra task is modify this so you can have multiple roles. It's just this, but with a different set of data because the ID is unique. And again, integrate it into a Flutter-based visual application. So this is just a class to essentially, you know, store the data. So once we get it from the database, we can store it into this and we can utilize it however. One. This is a slightly different style of video compared to the usual pace, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'm here to help you.